tell you something, status quo never works. If black folks depended on status quo, we would have never been free. Hello, somebody. Status quo would have kept the black codes. Status quo would have kept Jim Crow. Hello, somebody. So the indictment that the status quo is putting on Senator Bernard Sanders is the same folks that if they were in control when the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was alive would have been the same people indicting him. Hello, somebody. You can't have it both ways. It's those same folks. So how do you feel going to South Carolina? I mean, do you feel I, like I feel really good. Yeah. I mean, you and I have been in this political game for a while. We know polls are snapshots in time. They go up and down. Well, and, but when, and it's, this is a hard state to this poll. Is, and you have to, yes. it depends on what you think the electorate's going to be. That's I imagine right. you all think the electorate's going to be younger than maybe the pollsters do. Well, that's and what so, we're hoping for. Right. What I also think is that younger generations are talking to their mothers and their fathers and that, their grandparents. I think that was a factor in Nevada. It was. Yeah. And as you can see with the data, it does show that some older African Americans, older and, you know, depends on how you describe old, but a lot of the Gen Xers yeah. were very... I, I don't think Gen X is old. I don't either. I didn't think so. because we Senator. Gen X, so we right. don't think Gen X. <laughs> That's what I say. Depends on. But sure. you saw, like, that explosion that Senator Sanders is starting to win more seasoned generations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Everything is better with seasoning, baby. Don't let them tell you nothing else yes. it is. I really do think hearing from your grandchildren or your children the saying says, why well, I support Senator Sanders and I would like you to support him too. Those voices are the most important. This is like a big deal to you. Like yeah, it is. This is my life's work. This is not just a job, it's a calling. I understand. It's a mission. Because I do want for other people's family what I want for mine. You know, I grew up the majority of my life and with a single mom who died at the age of 42 years old. So when I think about this journey, yeah. This environment created the need for a champion like Senator Sanders. You know, no matter what happens in this election, mm -hmm. Senator Sanders is going to go down in history for being transformational. Mm -hmm.